Live look at the orange bikes. We know these bikes to be part of Bike Town. The program launched last year. The program is now ready to expand. That's why Tim Gordon is joining us on Portland today, this morning, to talk more about the expansion of Bike Town. Hello, Tim. Hello, good yeah, morning to you. Too. Yeah, we're at 14th and Alberta in Northeast Portland, and we're talking about an expansion, but let me explain it to you. It's going to be one that's done with not adding any bikes or any of those big orange racks that you see in the uh, current bike town areas. What it means is they're going to allow the bikes to be out here in northeast Portland and some areas down in southeast Portland, north Portland as well, uh, it, without penalty. And you can use the existing blue racks like this to lock them up. So it's an expansion into new areas uh, that uh, Peabot knows that the bikes are already popular. The reason they know is because of these little units of the locking and cheat. Watch your step, Louie, off the curb. There's a locking and GPS unit on every bike. So the GPS unit tells them, hey, people are riding these bikes into Alberta right now. Hey, they're riding them down in the Brooklyn neighborhood. Uh, that type of thing has given them the uh, evidence that they needed to say, hey, let's let the bikes go out there. We'll uh, allow them to be locked up this way. And it's a great way to expand. Doesn't cost any more to do it. It just adds to uh, the bike town territory, if you will, in Portland. So guys, they've had nearly a quarter million uh, trips so far since in the 10 months that Bike Town's been up and running. And yeah, they had a pretty slow, long, wet winter. So a lot of that was at the end of the season last year and now kicking back up again. So with nicer weather, seems like a good time to expand, expanding into Alberta in North Portland in the Overlook neighborhood along Interstate Avenue. It's a pretty busy bike commuting route. And so, hey, guess what? It's, it's picking up. Memberships are up. They say it's a successful program and it's working. And unlike when they first kicked it off and they took over parking spaces and in front of people's homes and it upset them, uh, that won't happen this time because they're just going to lock them up like this. So Very that's cool. the story on Bike Town and the expansion. They're going to have a little dog and pony show here, which is what we call in news, you know, when they set up with the <laughs> podium and they're going to do their thing. We call that a dog and pony show. That's a little insider information <laughs> for you. So they'll be kicking it off in about a half an hour from now. Actually, in about 15 minutes from now. We'll be here for that. But that's the uh, preview on it. So we'll send it back to you. Tim, if you're going to bring up dogs and ponies, darn it, we expect to see dogs and ponies during <laughs> your segment. Well, that's that's... <laughs> That's your gig, man. You do the dogs and ponies. Good point. Good point. Thank you, Tim, for explaining the expansion of Bike Town. We're going to stick.